Sukai and Yoshie Siyama first crossed paths long before they ended up in the same long-term care home. You'd have to go back 80 years and thousands of kilometers away to their shared dark history as student and teacher at the same Japanese-Canadian internment camp in Kaslo, BC. And while some memories have faded with age, others remain fresh, like Kai's teaching style. Oh, you used to be such a strict teacher. Well, I didn't realize it, but I think it's better to be strict. And we always have a good laugh. <laughs> that was a little bread. <laughs> and there are other memories that stubbornly persist. Sometimes at the middle of the night, I said, oh, I, I have a nightmare. Experiences and feelings long repressed to protect her son, Brian Kai. Well, I think there were times when my parents did not want to talk about it. And when that happened, they spoke Japanese, and since I couldn't understand it. On the morning of December 7th, 1941, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. One Sunday, everybody's going crazy. Bomb, 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 bomb. And then I heard, no, you better go inside because they're going to shoot you. That terror was real. Amid strong anti-Japanese sentiment, 21,000 Japanese Canadians were ordered from the BC coast further inland. Kai's family was to be split up. Carrying a rice cooker and sewing machine, they left the downtown Vancouver home her father built with his own two hands and joined thousands of others forced into the BC interior. No newspaper, no radio, no nothing. We didn't even know what's going on into the war. Yoshie Suyama was just 14 when she was sent to Kaslo. We only moved because they kicked us out. Japs out when the war started. What was that like to be told you had to leave New Westminster? Well, we had to leave. We couldn't say yes or no. It was not something that we talked about. And I just think that it was um, maybe too painful for them to relive those memories. At 17, Jane Zielinski's father, Herb Sakaguchi, was shipped off to Slocan, B.C. We lost our house. Kids of Lano, as a matter of fact. It's a nice place, you know. The government sold their Kitsilano home from under them. In 1988, Canada compensated internment camp survivors. $21,000, a pittance compared to today's Vancouver real estate prices. They did it. We got evacuated. I'm still around. Mad as hell, but what can I do? It's finished now. Who are these people? Here, after decades, long withheld anger and thwarted dreams expressed out loud for the first time. I was mad. I was mad, yeah. And then they, I, I planned to go to university. That's the first time I actually heard her say the word mad to the fact that she had to be moved into internment camps. Is this Uncle Ray? That's your brother. No, that's me. That's you? That's you. Feelings better expressed late than never. After long, successful, and happy lives, they had to rebuild from scratch. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Toronto.